Administrators of the National Health Insurance Plan say they will launch the highly controversial plan despite a plethora of public outbursts and online petitions just one week before the scheduled launch date. CEO Brian Hogan of the plan says despite public outcry, the plan must go on as residents in recent weeks questioned the transparency of the arrangement, which mandates the industrial population to dish out 2.5 percent of their monthly earnings, matched by an equal amount of 2.5 by their employers to pay for health care. We have every intention of continuing uh, to uh, move forward as scheduled. Uh, contributions will be effective November 1st. We are currently uh, well into our enrollment uh, drive. Um, to give you an example, the 100 largest employers in the uh, Turks and Caicos Islands represent about 15,000 contributors. They have 15,000 employees and um, they are well, well underway in completing the enrollment drive. So when you take uh, just those 15,000 employees along with their dependents, you know, we've got a significant majority of the uh, population that is uh, you know, in the process of, of enrolling. We've always you know, realized that, uh, you know, uh, particularly in a, in, a, in, a, in a tough economic time, that uh, you know, any deduction from compensation is an important deduction. Uh, but the value that is uh, derived from that deduction, I think, uh, you know, speaks for itself in the availability of high quality health care that uh, will now be readily available in the Turks and Caicos Islands as the Interhealth Canada facilities open in, in April. Um, so it, it, you know, there's, there's probably never a great time to do this, but the time is right for the Turks and Caicos to do it now. Uh, because of the construction and the completion of the facilities, we just have to move forward. Earlier today, officials from NHIP released official benefits regulations, which has been submitted to the Advisory Council for approval and reflects the initial benefits that will be offered by April 2010. The list includes primary health care and patient hospital care, rehab services, and a number of other services covered under the plan. Well, first and foremost, we know that uh, pre -exist, all pre-existing conditions um, uh, will be uh, included. The main persons who have pre-existing conditions will be accepted by NHIP. There will be no exclusions for pre-existing conditions. So if you're diabetic, if you're hypertensive, if you have previous heart disease, previous kidney disease, um, you, you will be accepted by the plan and paid for by the plan um, without any... Uh, maximum benefit in terms of in terms of years you are you are basically as long as you pay you're you, are, you are paid for life under the NHIP, contributors began making payments months before the scheduled 2010 openings of the two new hospitals to raise capital explain hogan let's take for example where you have part of the population that leaves the country yes you lose some of their contributions but you also lose their claims so that, that, that tends to balance off. Um, the way that NHIB um, works with InterHealth Canada and the way that we expect to be working with the contracted providers um, allows us to adjust the payments that are being made for clinical services on a regular basis. So every three months with InterHealth Canada, for example, we take a look at um, what is the actual activity um, taking place in the hospital. And if the activity is below what we expected, in large part because the population has decreased, then of course we make a corresponding adjustment in the payments that we make to InterHealth Canada. Director of the plan, Dr. Rufus Ewing, says despite the negative feedback, the plan will benefit the vast majority without adequate health care. Like in anything, you don't usually hear the positives, you usually hear the negatives, because it's the negative that usually makes the most, um, most, make the most noise. Um, but the, the vast majority of the population, um, I'm sure, is in, is in support of NHIP. Um, because those are the ones who uh, it, it, it definitely benefits even more, even most, those ones who really can't afford. Um, this is a social health insurance plan. Um, you find that those persons who, um, who are those, if the population right now is 30,000, um, I will probably say those 28,000 persons without, without health insurance who have to pay out of pocket 
for health care um, are the ones that benefit most. For WIV4 News, I'm Angie Toussaint.